This cactus is protected by an evil corporation. There's a crazy guy on the server here. It's good to be back here. What's up everyone? This is me, Sean, and today I am back on the Zilchcraft SMP with some more Minecraft for your faces. So, yeah, today I'm going to be taking it a little bit easy. I'm going to show you guys some changes I have made to the arena and the progress and also I'm going to be taking a quick look around and seeing what's new because there's obviously some new things around here so yeah now the first big thing you will see is this jungle tree no I'm, I'm, I'm kidding it's this thing over here which uh mattis i believe is building this i'm pretty sure it's gonna be something like a city hall town hall kind of thing yeah also we've added uh, a couple people as well so i will go ahead and i will introduce you guys to them in a few seconds, the power is probably going to go out, because the last time my lights did that, that's exactly what happened. Alright, well, the power hasn't gone out, so that's a good sign. Okay, so, as you can see, this looks pretty epic. But, uh, the thing is, Mattis likes to build facades, or whatever you want to call them. So, for right now, that's literally all it is. It is literally all looks for now, but, obviously, he's going to make the whole thing and uh, I'm probably going to offer my services <laughs> because this is a huge project but yeah this is this is the uh, the town hall town center whatever it's going to be named I don't know what's gonna be named yet and it doesn't look like it has an official name yet so that is what this is let me go ahead and let me screenshot it okay so now moving on we do now see that instead of this house being a facade that uh, Mattis and Devin went ahead and they just, they completed it, which is nice. It's a very nice house. It looks very nice, very nice. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to take a look inside real quick and <laughs> let's see what they have. Well, I know what was going on earlier. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to show that in the video. So something went down there and uh, just so it remains a surprise to some people I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to not show that in the video so Mattis next time you come on or you go there make sure you're recording because it's it's pretty cool so the next thing we have is we have hold on there's a sign with cactus this cactus is protected by an evil corporation but yeah this build it's, it's coming along, it's coming along very nicely, so I am actually not sure who is building this. Uh, I'm going to ask around to see who's building it. Yeah, we do have, it looks like, everybody's name in here. I'm not too sure what this is. There's my name. So we have Master Blood, who is new. We have me, we have 1Z, X3M, Mattis, uh, Just for Kicks, Zymphony, uh, Devin, Ty, R3, Brim, and Nathan, which... Two of these people have been uh, nowhere to be found for some reason. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to leave. I don't know what this is. There's no signs. So, whoever made this, if you are watching, make sure to put a sign on this. Because I have absolutely no idea what it is. It looks like an armor room. Uh, but I'm not too sure. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so, if we just take a quick trek over here. I'm going to show you that there there's a crazy guy on the server here who thinks he can go ahead and he can build a castle in two days time because literally two days ago I was over well, not two days ago but a few days ago I was over here and there was absolutely nothing but apparently Master Blood decided to go ahead and start a project and it's pretty big so, is this the entrance? I'm guessing this is one of the entrances. So, it's very roomy. Now, you're going to have to do something with it other than make it roomy. But, yeah. It's a uh, noble endeavor. I don't know how much he's going to get finished, but it looks like he's probably going to actually finish all of it. Because, just look at it. This thing is huge. It's huge. Okay? It, this is he's gotten this done in like a very short amount of time so he's probably gonna finish it 
So the last thing we have is uh, we have updates in the arena. So I have been actually working on the arena for a little bit. Some of these changes I did right before I left for a little bit, and some of them I have done since I've gotten back, but all of them have not been recorded yet. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to show you guys around real quickly, and yeah. The, uh, the whole arena is not done, especially this entrance. I need to work on the entrance here, and I also need to level this off so that I can make a better entrance. So as you can see, by the way, I did move all my stuff over to here, just so it's like out of the way, you know? I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't want to burn all of it, because it's all useful stuff, so... Yeah, I'm not going to burn it. But I decided to move it in here so it's out of the way. And yeah, now... Some things might look the same, some things probably don't look the same. Uh, <laughs> so, these buttons here, they're definitely new, right? And so is this little one block divot, right? Alright, so, I'm going to show you, I did install some slime block elevators with the help of Mattis, which I am very thankful for. So, obviously we have this room down here, and we have all the armor stands and stuff, and, as well as that we have... Slam block elevators on both sides, which is actually very nice and very exciting. Now, I'm almost, almost, almost done with the arena and the basic functionality of the arena, but there's still one thing that stands in my way, which is uh, getting a beacon. Now, I'm going to hopefully get a couple people in here to help me with the beacon, so that's not going to be in this video. So, yeah, this, that's basically it. I also uh, put some armor down here, put the iron armor that each team will be wearing. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to distinguish between one or the other. I don't know. I might put, like, red hats and blue hats on them. But for now, they're going to remain all iron armor. So, yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much all the changes in the arena. Now, another change I'm going to add in is, I'm going to take this out, I'm going to make it into something different. Now, there has been a lack of activity as of late that I have seen, um, although we do have some newer people coming in and they are becoming active. Uh, some of the older guys that, that have been on longer have not been active recently, so, yeah, we need to help with that a little bit, right? So, so along with me opening up the arena, I'm going to open up an interactive uh, thing, <laughs> I guess. I don't know what to call it quite yet, but I'm going to structure it like Ethos Death Games from the Mindcrack server. Basically, uh, what I want to do is I want to be able to come up with a daily challenge and then a person to do it too. Let's say one day, I guess the challenge is do a 360 no scope and kill somebody with it. And then onesie comes up. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to take my arrow, or my bow and arrow, and I'm going to get them down to whatever health would be a one shot for my bow. I'm going to do 360 and shoot him, and if I hit him and he dies, that counts. So that's basically what I am going to work on next. It's going to take a little while before I complete it, though, because I am not a whiz with redstone. And it's going to be very redstone-y, so... I, <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take me, but I will go ahead and I will document the journey from start to completion. And that is what's going to be going there. Alright guys, for the last little segment of this video, I'm going to go back and I'm going to head to my base. I'm going to do a little bit of work on my base and hopefully everything will turn out just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go work on some housing for the eventual villagers I will have in my village because, you know, what good is a village without any people living in it? So I'm going to go design the housing and I guess after that, that will be it. So I guess I will see you guys in a second. Hold on. Well, guys, it's good to be back here. It's been a little bit since I was here, so, yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh, goodness me, that was some ping. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, so, it is, it is actually very good to be back here. 
It's been a long time since I was here. I know, I think in my, uh, the video that I did before, I'm pretty sure I was in the house over there. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sleep. If I can, please? No. Okay, I guess I can't. Who's plaguing me in my sleep? Just let me rest my eyes. Okay, so, what I'm aiming to do with these houses is I'm aiming to house one, two, three villagers in one house. So, that means I need... I don't know why I'm saying that, because the game doesn't differentiate between... Well, it doesn't have a maximum per house, so... I guess it doesn't matter. But, basically, what I was going to do is I was going to build a, hopefully two-story house that is not too too big but it it's decent size so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to go and grab a couple supplies before I get started here and I guess I will be back in a few minutes hold on oh right guys well I'm just going to go ahead I'm going to get started on a small design here so yeah basically we need or I need about two stories worth of house here so let's go ahead and let's design it Oh, right guys, well, I did get a little bit of a house done. It's not exactly what I had pictured, but it'll do, you know. I know it's not as unique as some of the other things that I will be building in this, but, you know, it it resembles the area around it and also the theme I want to carry out throughout this build. So, yeah, it's just fine the way it is for right now. I'm probably going to add something to make this design unique but for right now i am out of time so i am gonna have to leave this video here if you guys do have any suggestions as to how i should change the houses up then go ahead and leave them in the comments section below so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure you hit that like button and if you haven't hit yet hit that subscribe button also if you want to be notified of when I upload, make sure to hit that bell button next to the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.